Hello everyone. Recently, one of my subscriber has asked me a question. How should I start my career in agile business analysis? He also mentioned that companies are looking for someone having relevant experience. And I could only get an experience once I get into these companies. So it's a catch 22 situation. He could not get into a company because he doesn't have a relevant experience and he could only get an experience once he get into a company. I hope you also might have faced similar situations in your life. This is the first video moving into the direction of upscaling because that's the only way we can come out from this catch 22 situation. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you regarding Agile Analysis Certification. So let's get started. In business, things are driven by demand and supply. And unless we don't have a strong demand, there is no need to do a certain certification. So let's get into some numbers and understand is there a real demand for business analysis certification and business analysis skills or not. As per the US Labor Bureau, business analyst is the fastest growing profession in the next decade. So from 2018, to 2028, it will grow at a rapid pace of 14%. On the other hand, each one of us know that most of the companies are looking at agile transformation. So a large number of companies has already adopted agile practices. But here is another interesting statistics from 14th annual state of Agile report. 84%, I repeat, 84% of organization still believe that they are below high level of Agile maturity level, which essentially means that we have huge demand for people who can do analysis and make this agile implementation organization wide which means that organizations are able to implement agile practices and in small pockets small corners with one team two teams five teams but as an organization they are not able to make the entire organization agile For every game, we need to know the rules of the game. So what are the rules of Agile Analysis Certification? Agile Analysis Certification has no mandatory eligibility criteria. Even though IIBA, International Institute of Business Analysis, recommend minimum two to three years of experience. It is a two hour online test with 85 questions. Usually this can be done at your home because I did it during the time of COVID. So maybe after the restrictions are over, this certification will be held at examination center. But we'll see that in the due course of time. IABA provide two study material. One, the business analysis body of knowledge documentation and agile extension documentation. The major focus of this certification is on agile extension documentation. So IABA has divided the entire examination in four sections. Number one is Agile Mindset 
and the remaining three are strategy horizon initiative horizon and delivery horizon from agile mindset you can expect close to 30 percent of question from strategy horizon 10 percent from initiative horizon 25 and delivery 35 percent during my course i will try to explain not only all these separate sections but also interdependence of all these sections this helps you to understand the concept much better as we move along this journey let me also introduce myself my name is abhishek vyas and i am in this area of building financial product for last 15 years in agile space for more than eight years and during this time i have done many certifications including agile analysis certification and this is my attempt to share all the knowledge i have acquired regarding this certification on an open platform so please feel free to comment share your reviews and write it to me because that will help not only you but me as well to grow together so in short we have seen that there is a huge demand for agile business analyst and to start this journey you can start acquiring knowledge through agile analysis certification in the words of swami vekanand knowledge acquisition is the ultimate goal of a human being so what are you waiting for come along let's start this journey together